I start off, I must say that I'm privileged uh, to be part of a wonderful session which just happened. Such a powerful session, I should uh, say. Uh, Swamiji has taken us back in time through a lot of historical facts, through a lot of um, spiritual uh, facts and thinking. And he clearly said, education and empowerment is incomplete without the moral values. And I'm, I'm extremely thankful to Ramakrishna Mission for calling me to be here. And I was extremely happy to be part of that session. It is 12 o'clock in the afternoon. It's a good afternoon to everyone. Could I have a louder good afternoon? I see a lot of young, vibrant faces, you know, with a lot of energy and enthusiasm. So shall we have a loud good afternoon? That was fantastic. Thank you so much for that. So you're all uh, from different colleges in Mangalore, right? Before that, let me take a moment to acknowledge the efforts put in by the management of Ramakrishna Mission to bring such younger kids in this platform to empower them on various aspects of life. Uh, as Swamiji was talking about education for the overall empowerment in life, and the entrepreneurial mindset, I'm extremely happy that the Ramakrishna Mission is doing all these things and bringing all students together. So you're all sitting with the best friends, right? Yeah, the topic for me is entrepreneurial mindset. Okay, so you're all come with your friends here, you've registered to be part of this and you're very comfortably sitting with your friends, right? Could I request everybody to just rise up once and switch your places to a person who is not familiar with you? Just a minute, though, let's not take too much of time. Just choose somebody whom you're not familiar with, that's it. Only the students. Come on, just, let's just, I'm just uh, starting my uh, stopwatch. Let's see, we should complete this in one minute time. We do not have much time. Don't go too far away. Just switch places to somebody whom you do not know. Thirty seconds down. We have just another thirty seconds to go. I see a lot of resistance. It's okay. Whoever is comfortable to move, please. Fifteen seconds to go. Okay, that's fine. So why? Why did I ask you all to move from the places you are very comfortable sitting with the best friends forever, right? See, in life, we meet. Everything is not comfortable, right? Like we may have done our schooling for 15 to 17 years in one school, right? So we have the same set of friends, group of friends. Then what happened after your education, what has happened? You've moved out of your school and then move to a college for higher studies, right? Did you all develop new friends or you still continued with your school friends? You continued, you somehow managed to make new friends because you know without friends, you will not be able to enjoy the college days which is called one of the best memorable moments of our life, right? So you picked up new friends, right? From wherever we have left. We continued with our school friends, we continued with, we started off with new friendships. So can we just introduce, just take 30 seconds to introduce to the next person. Introduce just yourself in brief, just 20 seconds, not even 30 seconds. Just let's make some new relationships. You should know is sitting on your left and on your right. That's it. 
Are we done? Just their name, what do they do and which college are they from? Yeah, so for the next 30 minutes, you will be sitting with a new person, not all of you I know, but like at least whoever has agreed to shift your places, you're sitting with a new person. So please do get to know them better right after the session. You will never know when they will be of any use to them, you all, right? In your, could be in your professional life, could be in your further education, could be in just whatever life that you're choosing after your studies. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, now, as I said, my topic for today is entrepreneurial mindset. I'm sorry. Yeah, entrepreneurial mindset. So I will be talking just basics based on my understanding what entrepreneurial mindset is according to my myself. That is based on my experience in my entrepreneurial journey just my perspective and I would like to have participation from all of you all. Yeah, so whatever I talk, if you have any difference of opinion, please do be vocal about it and let's know. Yeah, let's call for a debate and discussion here. So can I have call for four volunteers? I just want four students from the group just to come on the stage with me. Just four of you all. Yeah, I've got one, two, just another two more. From this many, these many uh, young energetic students, I just have two of them. Yeah, I'm sorry, leave your footwear uh, down below the stage when you come up. Can I have just two more people? Yes, I think I've got four of you. Yeah, you come here. Could you please introduce yourself? Good afternoon all. Yeah. Yeah. I am Rachana, pursuing my second year MSc in Mangalore University on subject Yogic Sciences. Suket so, from Mangalore University, Department of Social Work. I Shatul Jafna from Mangalore University, Department of Social Work. Bhavana from Mangalore University, Department of Social Work. I am Pragna Prakash from Alvas College, uh, doing MA in English. Thank you so much for coming over to the stage. So now I would request, I've got, okay, I've asked for four, I've got five, that's nice. So four of y'all will be, uh, you are working for a company. Okay, so one of you is going to be a CEO of the company. You need to choose who is that going to be. Yeah, the rest of the four of you all are working with the senior management team. So you are either the vice presidents or handling different functions like marketing, business development, you know, the, the finance functions of the thing. Or, and uh, you need to come up with four different challenges that you're facing in the organization. You need to identify which organization that you belong to you can come up with a new business altogether. And what are the four challenges? And you just have one minute. And also appoint one CEO. So when you're discussing the challenges, the CEO will be standing separate. The rest of you all will be, will be discussing the challenges. Yeah? Good to go? Yeah, the CEO, you please come forward. Rest of the people, please come up with three different questions. I mean, three different challenges that the organization is currently facing. Are you ready with the challenges? Some of the issues that you're facing as part of the organization. It could be anything. Just think that you're running an educational institution. You're part of a college. Or you're organizing an event in the college. Yeah? Some of the challenges that you're facing. Separate. Together. You can uh, bring it up with the challenges together. Some of you want to help them out? Yeah, you can tell which uh, company are you from. So our company is a uh, very well known, I think for most of you it is, uh, say it is Envy Green. So Envy Green is a, that company which produces uh, biodegradable plastics 
uh, and is the first company to produce the biodegradable plastics. So currently considering me as a CEO of that company and they are coming up with the various challenges. Even two challenges is good enough as we are running short of time. Yeah, are we ready? Okay, so when the team members are coming up with the challenges, the role of CEO is to say fantastic. Okay, your response to all the challenges that comes back will be fantastic and give a solution for what they're coming up with. That is what CEOs do, right? They're all problem solvers. They're not problem creators, right? And they're not supposed to demoralize the team members. When they come up with the challenges, the team members come up to the owner or the CEO for a solution, not for discussing it any further, right? Yeah. So are we ready with the challenges? Yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, you can come in front. Please do come in front of the CEO. All four of you all, four of you all, please. Ma'am, we do not get much employers to work because we have only limited people and there are much workload to be done on a part of all the stresses. And the work time that is like 10 a.m. 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The workload, the pressure load, we cannot handle it single. So what is the solution for this? And how we are going to manage this? Yeah, over to CEO to answer. And fantastic that you're working uh, your heart and soul for this company, for the betterment of this company, and I congratulate you. And soon we will sort out this problem because uh, we are bringing out all the machineries so as to overcome the uh, employ uh, employer's shortage. And also we are uh, hiring new more, uh, uh, new more employees for this company and we are hiring that. And very soon this problem will be sorted out. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Rachna. Thank you for bringing up that challenge. As she mentioned about missionary, it was a quick thinking from her side, right? She was not prepared to answer uh, the questions that they had. She had not even listened to them. What are the challenges they're coming up with? She was quick enough to talk about deployment of missionary to handle the product, production much better. Yes. One more question you have? Ma'am, uh, we are facing a problem in to explain our new projects and uh, plans with the customers or with solutions. Excellent and I again congratulate you for your working so hard and uh, working out on the challenges. I would say uh, soon we are making a videograph and a pro with the, uh, a short uh, documentary of our company so that it will be easily accessible to all the uh, viewers and the con uh, cust customers and con uh, customers. And we will be circulated all through the media and also we will promote it on advertisements and TV channels. So that would be the great promotion and people will be quick enough to recognize our company's theme. And thank you so much. I appreciate them. And I would also, uh, you know, would like to pick up some of the qualities that they have displayed here. When I called some of the volunteers to come onto the stage, they were quick to volunteer themselves, right? They are very proactive. Yes or no? The first and foremost thing to have an entrepreneurial mindset is you need to be willing to volunteer to do things. Take risks, come out with creative ideas, come out with innovative approaches, right? You need to be at the forefront. You cannot be sitting back and think, no, somebody else will come. Yes or no? And Thank you all. You can get back to your seat. If possible, can they have the mic with them? So I would like the participation from the students also. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You will give the mic. Right? Yeah. So one of the, yes, they would, they definitely deserve. Without any preparation, they've decided to come on the stage and do this for me. Thank you so much. Yes. So one of the things would is that the willingness to come at the forefront. Anything else that you would want to add? Anything else that you've seen? See, entrepreneurial mindset, mindset is not something which is just applicable to somebody who's starting a business. It is applicable to a student. 
it is applicable to teachers it is applicable to anybody anybody a housewife or anybody who is working you know having a professional career with any organization without an entrepreneurial mindset we will not be able to reach anywhere right only if we have the ability to come forward express ourselves work taking risk do that hard work and make our self visible we will be successful in anything that we do yes or no right we cannot sit back and think yes somebody else will take up that job so if you're working for an organization i worked for an organization for 8 years and i've understood it the very hard way i have just graduated from my post graduation and joined an organization i didn't know the nuances of how to be make yourself visible in an organization your promotions you have to do personal branding we spoke about promotion said the group of team would come up on the stage rachna was talking about how we could promote the products right the first and foremost thing is to promote yourself education is doing that it is giving you the knowledge that is required for you to take up the next step along with education you need to showcase yourself unless and until you need to show you showcase yourself people are not going to notice the work that you are doing because if you look around there are so many engineers there are so many professionally qualified students who are moving out of their colleges there's so many doctors so many scientists so many of so many you know different levels of aspirants are coming out unless and until you come out and grab the opportunity that you have around you will not be able to be in the limelight especially these days see i'm sure that whatever good work that you're doing the society will take note of it over a period of time but at the same time it's extremely important that you do some amount of personal branding yes someone else would want to come up for another activity now all are comfortable there in their stage no worries okay so uh, i would talk about myself see as uh, ma'am was mentioning about my introduction i am the founder of a brand a very small brand right now based in mangalore which is called juice bottle we are into cold pressed uh, fresh fruit juices so the i when i started i started in 2000 the end of the fag end of calendar year 2018 i started with the idea of um, i wanted to offer something to mangalore so you may think you know juices you know what about what is so new about juices right so everybody had this question so the why it came across my mind is an entrepreneur is somebody who founds a solution to a problem that we already discussed right so i had two kids and i was a little fussy mother especially the first time i didn't want to give unhealthy food loaded with a lot of colors sugar and all those things to my kids right so i saw the fresh fruit juices that were available in the market used to come with water which we are not really sure whether it was purified or not with a lot of ice with a lot of sugar which most of the people used to before covid everybody used to use their hands after covid that came a time where we had people are putting masks head caps and gloves right yeah so there i saw an opportunity i thought i need to have a centralized production facility for manufacturing of cold pressed juices so that is what i ventured although i started with my idea and planning in 2018 and wanted to launch in 2020 initially the bank gave an okay to the proposal that i've given with covid coming in i wanted to launch in april 2020 with covid coming in the launch didn't happen as planned and after the covid lockdown was removed i went back to the bank asking for the funding and they clearly said no i cannot fund you for this much of amount if you want to do it with 50% of the the project cost that you have you can go ahead i was not happy because i had made a plan i had worked for 2 years i had done my trials i had finalized on the machinery i have spoken to different vendors suppliers i have even procured machinery from outside i have even confirmed it to them based on the okay, okay from the bank and the bank is asking me to cut down on the thing which will not work with the production plan that i had in mind so very soon still trying to convince the branch another lockdown came 
So 2020, 2021 washed out and finally in 2021, end of the calendar year, I again picked up the project. I approached the same bank, they again said no. I approached another branch, another bank, they again said no, they are like, what are you trying to tell? What is this? What kind of a product it is not going to scale up? It doesn't have any scalability. It doesn't have any viability. We will not fund you. Three different banks have said no to me. I still approached. I changed my chartered accountant. The chartered accountant also matters, right? When you go for funding from the bank, it also matters who is your chartered accountant. I changed my chartered accountant. I did reworked on the project, the figures. I, in the meantime, the, la the last two years of time that I had got, I reworked on the products. I got, I did a lot of market research. I got feedback from the real time customers. I reworked and I went back to another bank. Fortunately for me, luckily for me, the branch manager at the AGM level was such a nice person who was somebody who was always encouraging entrepreneurship, irrespective of male or female. Being a female entrepreneur, it was extremely difficult also. There were a lot of times when people uh, took you for granted, they made you wait. All those things were there. But this particular person was amazingly helpful, was very supportive. The minute I told him about the idea, he said, yes, we can go ahead. So that is how I started off uh, with Juice Bottle. So see, I'll tell you, anywhere, it could be your professional career, it could be your own business, you will have a lot of challenges day in and day out. Even in your student days, you have challenges, yes or no? Right? People will tell you, no, you can't do it. Right? Don't let others decide for you. There's a beautiful movie. Have anybody watched a movie by name In Pursuit of Happiness? Yes, a few of you all have watched it. So there's a beautiful scene in that movie. Uh, it is, uh, the actor is Will Smith and his son has also acted as the son, in, as his own son in the movie. So this father-son duo are amazingly, they've got a very nice bonding. And this father, his name in the movie, his character name is Chris uh, Gardiner. He is, all, he's almost lost his job. He has no uh, money. He's almost homeless. But he still insisted his son to tell him what his birthday wish was. And his son told about a basketball and he gifted him that. So in the basketball, the scene is from the basketball. When he was trying to shoot the ball to the basket, the son did it. However small he was, he did it. He did a strong thing. But the way in which it was done was not correct. And the father, who was totally frustrated with his life, made a statement. He said, you may be successful in some of the things, and but definitely not in basketball. The child, so small, so young in his age, was taken aback by the comment that his father has made. He was so disappointed, he immediately started packing his basketball, you know, into the plastic cover that he had got it in. Then the father realized, immediately he realized that he has made a mistake and he told his son, he went back to his son and told him, people think you cannot do things because they cannot. That is, basically his father was not able to be successful in his life and he was so frustrated about it and he told his son that you cannot be successful and he said, do not let people around you decide what will you do. Whether you will be successful or not will be decided by you and not by the people around you. If you have a dream, he says, protect it. You all have a dream here? How many of you all have a dream? Very few. Slowly hands are coming up. Not fair. Everybody should have dreams, right? Yes or no? So everybody should have a dream. And they say a dream written down makes it, it makes it easier for you to achieve it. So please have a dream. Next time when somebody asks you, do you have a dream? Please raise your hands immediately. Don't think then whether I have a dream or not. Right? So again, getting back to the movie, he told him, if you have a dream, protect it. If you want something, go for it. Right? 
Have you all faced any situations where people stop you from doing things? See, I'm again talking about a dream should be something which will be good for the society, which is something workable, right? Which uh, Swamiji has already spoken about. It should be something which is backed up by moral values, not something and anything and everything that you would want to do, right? Should not be something which is harmful for the society, but should be something which is going to contribute to the economic growth of the country. It could be the career choice that you want to make. It could be the uh, business that you would want to start up. Let me ask you, any of you all already doing some businesses? Some of you all students usually start very early from college days itself. None of you are running a venture? Not yet. Is anybody thinking of starting something soon? Yes, I see one hand, repeatedly seeing the same hand. Yeah, I see another hand. Okay, just two of you all. The rest of you all planning to work? Not planning to work. I don't see any hands going up. How many of you are planning to work? I mean, you're all postgraduate students, right? You're planning for the thesis, PhD and things like that. How many for higher studies? Okay, good, I can see a few hands. So, two people for entrepreneurship, as in planning to do something. Uh, I could see around 10 hands saying further studies, that's again good. What about the rest of the people? Not sure? No plans? Planning to work? Have you applied somewhere? You applied and waiting for it. Okay, so now, as I said, See, it's not necessary that, you know, right out of your college, you need to start something. Definitely, even I didn't start anything. I did not even think that I would venture into entrepreneurship when I passed out from my, did my MBA around, I think, six, 17 years back. Yeah, I'm too old in the system. I didn't know. I worked with a company for eight years. And that eight years was amazing eight years that I have learned Everything that I'm doing in this business, in the business that I'm doing, it has given, given me amazing business lessons. The way the company operates, the structural, the hierarchy levels, how do you manage the manpower? The team who had come up on stage, the first challenge that they had was manpower issue, right? And I'm sure every business, it is a continuous perennial problem in any business. How do you handle it? All those things, when you work for a company, even before you want to start something, when you work for a company, it's going to be an amazing lesson for all of you all. So please, whatever it is, but be more participative, be contributing. So wherever you are, you know, in an organization that you work, you're not working all by yourself, right? Swamiji was talking about your human body is, is a combination of your hands, your head, your trunk, your legs, right? Similarly, if you can, you are not going to be, you're going to be working in teams in a company. And that is not going to be your uh, team, your, uh, you know, good friends, the best friends from college or your best friends from school, right? You're going to work with them and contribute to them. So have, always be risk taking, always go in the forefront, be ready to be there up in the front and talk. Take responsibilities, very, very important, wherever you are, be a business or wherever you're working for any organization, if you do not take responsibilities, year end, do not expect a promotion. Yeah, you should be willing to take responsibilities. Only then you will be promoted to a team leader, then to a managerial position, and then to the leadership position. Don't you all want to be part of a senior management positions in various com companies, either yours or somebody else's? Come on, yeah, this is not the Mangalore crowd, please. Mangalore is famous. A lot of business entrepreneurial veterans are from Mangalore. It's the house of education. It's a base for a lot of businesses in the country. Never mind. So now, do you all believe in yourself? Everybody believe. Then why are you not talking? Why are you holding on to your, uh, you know, discussions? I'm sure that everybody would want to put across some point, but for some reason you're holding back, thinking about what the people around me are, how are they going to judge me? Did anybody judge the people who have come on the stage? 
Did any of you all say, no, what, what rubbish are they talking? No, right? So make it a point to come out, have that confidence, have that belief on yourself. Swami Vivekananda says, to me, it is not, an atheist is not someone who does not, does not believe in God. He says, it is someone who does not believe in the power of himself. Please start believing in yourself. Think that you can do. Do not be, think, you know, and rest of the people, do not be judgmental about the other person, what they're talking. Listen to them, appreciate them, acknowledge them. If they have feedback, be vocal about it. Right? And listen until you're vocal about your opinions, your feedback. People will not see you in whatever society. Either you're running an NGO, you're run, running a startup, or traditional business that has already been run by the family business, you know, family that you're already joining into a family business, wherever it is. If you see a scope for improvement, scope for thing, come and be vocal about it. Right? Unless and until you're vocal about it, nobody will listen to you. Right? So you're all uh, from what all backgrounds? Are you all from the MBA business group, business backgrounds or how is it? The studies, the education I'm talking about. Okay, different, different fields. So I understand certain fields, they will not allow you to immediately start up with something. And I'm sure that the 500 odd people who are sitting in this room cannot start something which will all be, you know, there is no 100% success to anything, right? But you can at least Think of starting, if not 500, at least, let's say 1% of it succeed also will lead to a lot of contribution to the society, will generate employment, a lot of, uh, you know, economic growth can happen even if one of you all start a sustainable business. But shouldn't stop, just because not all startups survive, shouldn't stop yourself from thinking about starting one, right? That is a way forward, you know, startups is a way forward. Definitely it's going to retain people. If you're going to start something in Mangalore, it is also going to retain a lot of people who otherwise would have moved to bigger cities or bigger countries for employment opportunities. If you're going to give them employment opportunities here, you will have people staying here. Yes or no? Please, please remember, your, do not restrict your education to your textbooks alone. Yeah, Education is a continuous process. For you to be confident, for you to start believing in yourself, you need to be knowledgeable first. Start reading books. Yeah, there are so many inspiring, successful books that we have. Please start reading them. If you do not have time, people may say that, you know, I happen to attend one session by Mr. C.K. Kumarwell. You know who is he? C.K. Kumarwell? Okay, founder of Natural Saloon, amazing speech I listened to him and he mentioned today's world it's difficult for you to sit and read but there are so many podcasts, the video, the audio clippings that is available even when you are doing something else, listen to it. When you continuously listen to it, you will not have negative thoughts coming your way. You will be always optimistic and will have that energy driving you all the time, all throughout. So that is one learning that I have taken from him. And I think you should also start implementing that. Yeah? Do you all get motivated by people? I'm sure that everybody got motivated by, the, by Swamiji's talk, the previous session, right? Yes? Right? He spoke a lot and it made a lot of sense when it was all put together. Right? So you listen to him, you moved out of this room, will you action on it? Yes? <laughs> Don't. Please, please do action on it. Do not forget. Do not leave this room and then go and start off something else and forget what he has spoken to you all about. Like how I spoke about read books, listen to the audios, the inspiring audios and what you've heard. Please put it down on a book and see what can be practiced. If you do not start right now, you will never start any time. You cannot postpone it. If you've listened to somebody and you were inspired by that person and if you do not start immediately, you will never do it. Motivation is like taking bath. If you do not have the habit, 
if you do not develop that routine and habit of regularly taking bath similarly if you do not practice something that you would want to do you know you like okay let me start it one month down the line you will never start it start it immediately we all just crossed the new year right we just ventured into 2023 you all had some new year resolutions no 20% of the room had some resolutions are you all sticking to it everybody made some new year resolution right have you started on the same day that you thought okay i would want to change this or i would want to start doing it are you all continuing it okay very feeble yes so whatever takeaways that you have from all the sessions that you're going to have please start implementing from this zeroth minute do not and please note it down i'm sure that all of you will have uh, you know the notepads right please start writing down only that will help you do and reach success right anything else so we spoke about the problem solving skills the way that people need to come in front taking responsibilities uh, you should be able to uh, you should be a very good decision maker in running a business or working anywhere working for anybody nobody wants to work with somebody who cannot make decisions right they would expect even if you're working for a company your seniors would expect you to take a decision you cannot depend on your senior you will only inform right you will have to, there are situations where your doctors when a patient comes with a law, you know with an emergency will he wait for the senior to address it or will he immediately do the basic thing that is required he will have to do right so like any other doctor or any other senior uh, business owners or business leaders in the industry we all need to start practicing decision making abilities are you all good decision makers yeah are you all good decision makers how many good decision makers are there please do it's okay it's okay you know you are at a very young age you can start doing it from the very small thing like when students friends gather together and say let's go for a movie together then we will start discussing which one or somebody take the initiative and say you know we'll go for this just start practicing or we'll go out for dinner which restaurant start practicing start voicing out your insights your inputs only if you practice anything any part any characteristics that you would want to build and what is it that you would want to become you will only become if you start practicing each and every trait that you would want in yourself so please start doing that i would like to end the session you have any questions anybody has any questions yeah please ma'am i had one question uh, to start of any small scale businesses or any entrepreneurship what are the government uh, facility facilities that has been rendered okay see for anybody to that's a good question that is something which i missed out telling you all also rachna right yeah uh, there is uh, you all know that there is something by name uh, dic here in mangalore district industry center it is located at yard yeah so there is a msme office there that is yeah the ones that supports the small and micro medium scale uh, you know uh, enterprises to come to help them there is an office msme office and there is a district industry center they have amazing uh, what do i say the subsidy schemes grants a lot of uh, projects are supported by their uh, schemes that is run by the central government of india and also the government of karnataka various things so you should always get in touch with those offices and you will have amazing a lot of information coming from there and you should avail those services a lot of people do not know about it any other question that's it okay so i'll end this session and before i move out from here i would like to say all of you all in your life and in your selfies you should know where you should stand you should find your position thank you